very well welcome to the EST Electrical Services Stadium here at the LAN uh, for this Vanarama National League North fixture between Tamworth and Southport. Going through your two lineups for today, starting off with Tamworth in goal, number one, Sean Rowley, number two, Andy Burns, number three, Stephen Morley, four, Ellis Deeney, number five and captain, Luke Jones, number six, Jack Lane, seven, Callum Powell, eight, Amand Verma, nine, Zach Kotwicker, ten, Connor Taylor and 11 Daryl Knights. Substitutes for Tamworth today, number 12 Regan Upton, 14 Charlie Shaw, 15 Sam Coulson, 16 Bradley Reed, and 17 Dexter Walters. And going through your stock Southport lineup today, in goal, number one, John Worksop, number two, Bradley Jackson, number three, Caleb Richards, number four, David Morgan, number five, Stephen Halson, number six, Curtis Jones, number seven, Jordan Hallam, number eight, David Lynch, number nine, Jason Gilchrist, number 10, Jack Sampson, number 11, Dominic Smith. And the substitutes, number 12, Cayman Anderson, 13, Joshua Hine, 14, Nathan Lau, 15, Andrew White, and 17, John Paul Kiska. Tamworth in the all red today, kicking from right to left, and Southport in the green and white stripes, uh, kicking from left to right. Show them about the end product. As the ball goes forward, Sampson, he's onside, in behind the Tamworth defence, couldn't quite take any stride. Plays it inside to number eight, and it's it. No, number nine, sorry. Number nine, Jason Gilchrist gives Stockport the lead inside four minutes. Southport one, Tamworth nil. Easy as that, really. It was a direct ball, straight, for, uh, straight through the heart of the Tamworth defence. Sampson did well for Southport. He laid it off, neat little layoff to number nine, and Gilchrist just put it home. Actually does very well, does Connor Taylor to retain possession. And it's Verma to Morley. Morley now advances up the pitch to Knights. Nice bit of pace here. It's into the box. Oh, and the keeper had to deal with that there. And it's still in play, I think. I'm not sure what happened there, Jake. Um, I think the keeper saved that, managed to save that, and he needed to. Uh, but I don't think he managed to get it into his hands, which meant the ball was still in play. I think the keeper saved it. He tried to get back onto it, but the, then the start, uh, Southport player kept it in. So the keeper realised he couldn't actually pick it up because it would have been a pass back. Then in all the confusion, it was attempted clearance by Jackson, was blocked by Powell. And it goes out now for a time with throw. Um, as Aman Verma now advances. Tries a shot, but it falls for Connor Taylor, who tries a shot, but just sent wide over the bar there. Um, but like we say, Jake, Tamworth definitely growing into the game and making some more uh, attacks. Yeah. Just uh, rolls out there for a Tamworth throw as it's played uh, to Luke Jones as the referee blows for half time. Yeah, half time. So, um, Tamworth. At, at half time, it's Tamworth nil, Southport one, and uh, we'll be back very shortly for the second half. Welcome back to the EST Electrical Services Stadium for this uh, National League North fixture. As we just get underway now for the second half. Southport 2-0 uh, up, like that, just like that, we weren't really commentating because we didn't think anything was going to happen and Gilchrist gets his second of the game and the exact same as the first half, we're down within a minute and a half, two minutes of the game. Verma switches one out to Callum Powell. Powell up against Jackson, Morgan comes across to support Jackson, Powell inside, has a shot, it's gone in, Zach Cartwicker's header was deflected and Tamworth have a goal back. I think that might go down as an own goal, uh, but that's that's what Tamworth needed. About, about 18, 19 minutes to go now, Tamworth 1, Southport 2, Tamworth are back in it. It's Gilcrest. He goes back to uh, Lynch. Lynch driving into the Tamworth half. It's out wide to Richards. Caleb Richards now, on loan from Blackpool. Puts it in. 
It's going to fall. I think that might be Gilchrist has the shot and it's in. Gilchrist gets a hat trick and that's Southport three, Tam with one. The odds really do not look great for Tamworth here as we approach the final 15 minutes of the game. Jack Lyon just missed the ball and Gilchrist happily gobbles up the chance and gets his, gets his hat trick. As Luke Jones walks the ball forwards to Deeney, sends it across to Callum Powell, just about manages to win the header, it's into the centre. Yeah! And that's Tamworth... And there seems to be some confusion on the goal. Tamworth players want to get the ball, but the keeper's not letting them. So, and there you go. The keeper gets a yellow card deservedly there. Uh, so it's Tamworth 2, Southport 3, with 10 minutes to go here at the Lamb. Tamworth quickly trying to, to get a, their final goal back to make it a draw. Um, and it turns out a yellow card is awarded yeah, to uh, John Warsnot. Warsnot there just held on to the ball, trying to not let the Tamworth players get the ball back to the centre circle. And he gets a yellow card for troubles. Callum Powell. Callum Powell now goes to Andy Burns. Andy Burns gets it in. It's not a bad ball. Connor Tyler! Connor Tyler's done it for Tamworth. It's 3 3. Connor Tyler in the, pretty much the dying minutes of the game. He scores and it's 3 3. Connor Tyler heads home for Tamworth after the ball in from Andy Burns and the score is 3 3. It looks like this could be a long throw in from Tamworth as Luke Jones goes forward. Ellis Deeney now, lining up this long throw in. It's in towards Luke Jones, gets the flick on but there's no Tamworth player there. And the referee blows for full time here at the EST Electrical Services Stadium at the lab. This final score, 3-3 between Tamworth and Southport. It, I guess it weren't a great point from Tamworth but they scraped out the points. And it, it was, an, I suppose you could say, a well deserved point and fair play Southport brought the game to Tamworth. So yeah, final score 3-3 and we'll see you for the next next game which is away to Bradford Park Avenue.